Hello everyone and I hope you've all had a wonderful Women's Day and um, I want to thank you for your most valuable time and that uh, your most valuable asset and that's your time and this being Women's Month I have been asked to share my journey of Neo Life and it's just such a pleasure to do so. Let me introduce myself, I'm Nola McDermott and I've asked a couple of colleagues to be with me on this Zoom to tell their story. And I do believe we get empowered by people's stories. Everyone has a story. Everyone's story is important and has impact. Every story matters. And it's not about the story, but about the possibilities that it can also happen for you. And I think that is the motivating thing about our stories. And it sort of gets our brains going and possibility thinking. And basically, if I look back on my life, my adult life has been inspired by people and lifestyles we've created together in Neo Life. I know you have hopes and I know you have dreams because you're a woman on this call and I know we have these hopes and dreams. And I know we in Neo Life have some solutions for those hopes and dreams. And quite honestly, I believe there's no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. So, you know, the dynamic changes that have taken place over the last 18 months of all of our lives have dramatically altered our landscapes, the landscape of everyone's living. And the role of the woman has been revolutionized with many, many more challenges. But there have also been opportunities in these times. Um, women have strengths and abilities to empower each other. And this can change the dynamics of their family's future. Dynamics of healthy thoughts, healthy foods, a mindset that serves them. Um, caring for others, what you hand out comes back, just to name a few. And those are important parts of our living, I'm sure you'll all agree. And the dynamics that changed for us, being part of Neo Life, are numerous. I learned so much about health, about eating, um, intentionally staying well, so much about the mind and the fears, how we can overcome fears. Um, can you imagine building where you are now? Can you imagine building a successful and a local uh, international business? You know, I couldn't have even dreamt of that, but we have. Imagine choosing how you want to work, your hours, fitting it in with family things, and being your own boss, it's awesome. And this will happen to us. There's no question of doubt that women are seriously built to care and uplift others. And we just need a community that encourages us in an opportunity that is genuine. And, um, you know, for me, the, uh, the near life opportunity was revolutionary. It totally just changed our life. And because with it, we had a, a family business. We could build our business from home. We had no financial risk in this. Um, we had, there were huge possibilities. Um, there was a support from this wonderful, large international company who had integrity. We could trust what they said. We, we liked the people running the business. They cared for distributors. I had never known this in business. And for the first time in my life, I could truly see my dreams coming true. And every woman on this call has her special dreams of a life she sees for her family and for herself. You all know what would excite you. I discovered my true riches through this near life community. And some of them were the physical riches of richness, riches of being well, just having total health in the family. And let me tell you, 47 years later after joining Neolife, this is so, so evident. 
um, it's our responsibility as women and as mothers and as wives to keep the family well and point them in the right direction um, to maintain optimum health. And sometimes it's difficult when you're not so sure because there are many ideas out there. Um, our scientists have been such a blessing to us as a family just because their products are fantastic and their trainings have been so empowering. Another uh, 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 thing that excited me uh, apart from the physical side was the financial discipline and to live a life free from financial stress and strife that is such a gift spiritual growth is another gift this gives stability to the family it gives stability to us and gives me confidence and faith for the future and so you know um Women are strong, but I understand we also have a lot of fear, and sometimes we don't think we're worthy, but you are worthy of becoming more than you imagine. Unity in what we're doing gives us courage to move forward, and so I'm going to talk about just briefly the day that turned my life around, and this may be could be the day that actually turns your life around. And it only takes a decision. So Rory and I had our own business. We'd given up the idea of the corporate world. We weren't happy in the corporate world. Um, we've always been ambitious. We've worked hard. Hard work never worried us, but we were working with the risk of business and constantly chasing payments, but never losing hope for the future. Um, guess what? Very tough political times and downturn in economy, and we didn't have a business anymore. I had a six week old baby and times were not the most exciting, but through our business, we met an incredible couple, Mr. and Mrs. Painter. They were living a great lifestyle. They were an extremely successful couple with, with, it was obvious they were successful and mentally as well. They asked us if we'd like to earn big money because they discovered a wonderful business opportunity. And that is how we were introduced to Neolife. You know, God's timing is always perfect. So began a new chapter in our life. And in our near life journey, we grew, we cried, we were frustrated, we were encouraged, our mindset changed. You know all that as distributors and probably as guests, you, you've gone through all that. But we thrived. We traveled the world. And the first journey was to Disney World in the USA when the children were about 10 years old. And so we'd had some time in the business and we'd built up a lovely business. And that was such a celebration after the years of struggle. Um, I can sum up, sum up my years in our own business of near life as an enviable lifestyle of being a stay-at-home mother of unbelievable travel adventures as a family. Um, homes, cars, having flexibility of time. But what stands out probably more than anything is the relationship we've built and the celebrations of our team's successes. That came, became very, very important to us. And we have these wonderful, um, distributors that we've had this incredible business and friendship relationship with for over four decades, many of them. And that's a lifetime, folk. So guess what? Many people gave us what they thought was the greatest advice they could give us. And especially me. They said, you won't make it. It's not a real business. We've never heard of it. Why don't you go and get a proper job? Well, after having uh, losing our first business, we couldn't afford a proper job because we were determined to pay off all our debts to the business people we owed money to. 
And we had no salary could have done that, but Nir liked it. So how many times do we allow other people to attempt to write our end story? I.e., you'll never make it. And you know, we're so sensitive. We women are sensitive. We listen, but don't take notice of it because it's not true. You are unique. We are unique. We can do what we put our minds to, what we believe in, and hope that maybe things could get better. Changed our perspective towards life. I know it changes your perspective. Hope changes everybody's perspective. And our little wins in the beginning became our big breakthroughs to us. And that encouraged us to keep on keeping on. Being stubborn and ambitious was a great, great asset because we were determined to prove our critics wrong, of which we had many, and I'm sure you've got some. Um, our near life community grew to be our lifeline towards the possibilities of success. It lifted us up when we were at the lowest ebb of hopelessness. Um, nothing would motivate us more to see you go all in. And by that, I mean mentally and focused, using the products, um, talking to people, sharing what you know, and still be on a part-time basis. You don't have to give up what you're doing. You can be a full-time mother. You can be a full-time uh, employee. You might have your own business. But there's a space in your life for neo-life, especially on the opportunity of health and wealth. There's always a space for those two things. And then help convert your dreams into reality. My two children have been my greatest inspirations to just do it. I have four grandchildren and I'm going to introduce my daughter right now because she has a story to share. So I'm going to move over and Donna, uh, Tana is going to come along here and have a little chat to you. Thanks, guys. Good evening, everybody. So good to be with you this evening. Um, happy Women's Day to you all. Um, I've been asked to share my story with you. Um, it's a story of hope and encouragement, and it actually is based around the nutrition of your life and what your life has to offer you. Um, at 43 years old, I found myself in a situation where I knew what I had to do to achieve a goal of mine in life, which was to have a baby. And obviously this hadn't happened and it was time to get my mind right and understand the steps I had to take to make it work and to make it happen. So I embarked on a journey and the road I had to travel to achieve this miracle baby of ours was um, complicated, more complicated than most. There were more hoops to jump through and more small victories along the way that I had to, I had to win and I had to conquer. And this long road with all the treatments that I had to go through, um, some of you out there may have had to do the same thing or may be struggling with the same thing or may be considering going down this road. Um, I hope this is just an encouragement for you. Um, as tough as the journey is made out to be, and it is, and it can be, um, I had a nutritional base, which I think my mom just alluded to. Um, I was blessed enough to actually be on these products from a very, very young age, actually from a tiny baby. And um, I have a strong belief in these products, and I just have to look back on my life and realize and see the pattern of events here where absolutely I have really had very few to no um, issues ever. Sicknesses didn't occur in our family. Tiredness didn't happen. Um, mood swings that comes to mind, that didn't happen. We were all quite balanced and happy and it was a little bit unique, I must say. It was a little bit unique. So I embarked on this journey of 
achieving a dream to have a baby. And I knew and I was confident that I was partnering really with Niola. And to do this and to make this happen, I had the best chance possible with these products. And what's interesting about this is that I'm pretty confident because, you know, I didn't only speak to one clinic. There were many people involved. Not once was nutrition advocated for this process. Not once was it discussed. Um, so the people, you know, helping us along the way were very confident that throwing money and science at this issue was going to achieve a positive outcome. And subsequently, I've journeyed alongside women in the very same situation as I am, jumping through the same hoops, trying to win the same little victories. And um, science and money together combined does not actually give you or guarantee you your desired outcome at the end. And I truly believe that my desired outcome that I eventually arrived at was very much due to the fact that my body was getting a complete, complete nutritional base from the very beginning. One of the smallest little victories I won early on in the journey was our first scan we had to go to. So let me just backtrack, sorry. This pregnancy was eventually achieved at 43 years old. So you are considered very much a geriatric pregnancy, which is a terrible term for any potential new mom to um, have to accept, but that's just the way it was. And age aside, we didn't care about that. We were going forward. And one of the very first um, little victories, as I said, I had to conquer was our first scan um, no pregnancy yet at this stage where we're just building up our body, getting it ready. And I had um, been focusing very much on, I'll just give you a quick rundown, vitamin B, vitamin E, a formula four, which is the multivitamin in our range, protein, complete 22 as, uh, amiga, as, uh, uh, protein, 22 amiga as a protein, sorry. Um, omegas, Alarm bells, most people tell you to stop any form of nutrition, especially omegas, simply due to the fact that most omegas out there are impure, dangerous, in fact. Anyway, so this was a daily routine. I treat my nutrition as I do my morning coffee. It's not a good thing to miss. So um, with that in mind, taking quite a complete range of the new life products, we entered and embarked on this journey. The first little uh, hurdle was um, after a month of treatment, um, medical treatment, intervention, and obviously me doing my bit with my new life daily um, was a scan to measure the lining of my womb. And I had two professionals in the um, scan room actually looking at each other almost in shock and they high-fived each other and they said this is amazing Donna you've won lining of the week and I was like oh I like the sound of that I didn't even know what it means but great let's go so that was my first little hurdle and I was so encouraged resting in the fact that yes okay we're going to do this and I'm partnering with these products and our first test we've just passed and we passed it well so let's go, let's carry on going. And basically the process just went like that. It went and it went and it went. And finally we achieved a positive pregnancy. And this was just great news, really exciting. And obviously I had to learn that that is just the beginning. You know, that's where the journey really starts. And wow, it's happened. You've suddenly got this little being growing inside of you. Am I doing my best? What should I be doing? Again, rest easy. All the boxes are ticked. Continue on what I'm doing religiously, daily. And again, all the little scans and the little milestones I had to meet. Donna, are you doing well? Perfect. Box tick, box tick. So I knew that number one, the products are 100% safe. They're food based from your natural dye, basically. Um, and I knew I was doing the best for this little baby growing inside of me, which really made my heart very happy. And at 43 and in this process, which is meant to be quite tough and it is tough. 
Um, I don't want to take that away from anyone, you know, involved in this sort of process to achieve their baby. Um, but almost some days seem seamless. And um, at 43, honestly speaking, half the time I didn't even know I was pregnant, which is amazing because, you know, you warned, oh, well, you know, expect to feel this, expect to experience that. At your age, be careful of X, Y, and Z. Now, this just doesn't pertain to people that are older having babies, by the way. This is, I can firmly say, everybody um, thinking of conceiving a child should seriously consider um, these products in this range. But personally, my journey seemed pretty seamless. Um, and I absolutely attribute it to um, my near life nutrition daily. Um, anyway, with the odds stacked against me, uh, many hurdles apparently that I was possibly going to come up against, I flew through this pregnancy. Um, a few little pointers that come to mind is there were no blood pressure issues whatsoever. Baby's heartbeat was strong, strong, strong right from the beginning, which is a big deal. And the blood flow going around was amazing. Formation was amazing. Um, and I um, put on six kgs, which my guy was like really quite intrigued about, you know, at this ripe old age of having a baby. So that was really good. So basically my body bounced back. And even um, in these strange times, obviously people are trying to usher themselves into hospital if you actually have to go that route and out as quickly as you can. I um, managed to get away with one night in the hospital after C-section. Um, and again, my body really had to come to the party and work hard in healing and being strong enough mentally as well, I just want to add, as physically, with this new baby for the very first time, getting up and going. So I was proud. My body did me well. And 100%, I put it down to these products that I have been on for many, many years. So it's really easy for me to stand up and say they are the best. Um, but from a purity point of view, from a reliability point of view, and from a scientific point of view, the research is absolutely solid. And yeah, so that was great. Um, oh, one of the other things, not that morning sickness is necessarily a bad thing whatsoever, but I did not experience not even one hour of morning sickness. So I was proud of my body. And like I say, I put it down to um, the near life products. And also, I had such a peace knowing that I was doing the best for my little baby. And um, our, we had a boy. He was born in October, so he's nine months old now. So I'll just jump to where he is now. We have a robust, very on the ball little man that is um, keeping us on our toes. He's strong. Uh, he's always, you know, at the top of his percentiles. We haven't had a we have had one stuffy nose that lasted three days. We have not looked back. And as a new mom, I think one of the most stressful things that one would have to deal with is a little baby, a little guy that is not optimum. He's not feeling good or he's not doing well or he's not meeting his, um, you know, his points where he should be and, and that sort of thing. So. Yeah, today I find myself journeying alongside um, a few other women who I am encouraging and helping. And again, once you throw science and money at a problem, you almost expect a desired outcome and a favorable outcome. But as us women know, that's not actually always the case. So um, whatever you are facing on your journey, um, my story and there's a range of health issues or just day to day like I need energy I need to live my life properly I need to feel as good as I can feel I just want to encourage you that this range is it's really a very fine set of nutrition um, investigate it find out more and um, the, what's so encouraging is that there's actually solutions for everything and it's not only when you've got a problem. This is day-to-day -day usage.
doing the best for your body that you absolutely can, especially in these times with who knows what flying around. Um, keep your immunity high, keep your protein levels high and your energy levels high and you sure to feel good. You'll be able to face and conquer whatever comes your way. Thank you so much. I don't think I want to add anything else right now, but thank you for having me. Good That's night. good. Okay. Hey, well, that was great. Thank you. I just so appreciate Donna coming online because I know women panic, we fear. And as they say, she flies with the strength of her own wings. That's what we all do. And you do. And so you know you can do it. And right now we're going to carry on. Um, just thank you so much, Donna. I just appreciate um, you being online with us and sharing that. It's important. And so we're going to move on to our, one of our guest speakers. And this, uh, uh, this lady is from Namibia. And that is just an amazing, amazing place to be, I believe. And one day we'll come and see you up there. Let me introduce to you. Toy, Toyni Amu, Amuela. I think I said it almost right, Toy. There you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Nora. You. Good thank evening, you. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Toyni Amuela. By profession, I'm an IT engineer. I'm married, and uh, we are blessed with two beautiful girls. And I'm doing my business on a part-time basis together with my husband. And we are the main, we, we joined the business separately. And the main reason why I joined the, the New Life business, it was for my own health, to improve my health, because I used to suffer a lot from ill health. My eyes were going blind at the speed. I had migraine headache. I could not, uh, you know, go without a tissue because I have seasonal allergy. And it was really difficult because it's not easy to be unhealthy. So I joined New Life to get the supplements at the convenience and at the discount for a longer time so that my health can improve. And it did. Within a month, I started with uh, the Feel Better Guaranteed program and also better gut. And within a month, I have felt such a big improvement in my health. From that time, I continue supplementing because I realized this is the way to go. And as a result, my eyes improved and stabilized to the point where five years can go by without me needing to have an eye check. And the migraine, migraine headache disappeared completely. The allergy is so under control because the supplements are strengthening my immune system. And as long as the immune system is strong, the, the allergy does not bother me so much anymore. So it's really a big benefit which I got uh, health-wise and also my family have benefited also health-wise. And along the way, I took up the challenge to build the business, to make an additional income so that I can help others and help my family. And as we have the, do, been doing that, one of the dreams that we had when, when my husband and I got married was to, he was working in South Africa, and we wanted him to come back home so we can raise up our children together as husband and wife. And through the new life income, we were able to have him come back home without having to look for a job because the bonus that we are getting was enough to replace his uh, salary. There's so much that we have gained from this great opportunity. Like Nola said, one of it is financial discipline. We learn so much and we practice. I remember at one point we even bought one of our car cash and we were still struggling because we're still learning. But now we are so disciplined and we managed to get out of many big debts like our car is paid for, our house is paid for, no more overdraft and the money on our credit card is our own money and not the bank's money. 
it's really a great uh, feeling when you have such achieved such what financial discipline. And I think for me, the future looks so bright. I'm so excited about the future because during this uh, uh, season that we had, we learned so much that new life thrives, thrives even in the difficult times. And I'm telling you, people are more open to take care of their health and also they have more need for additional income that I, I just see a big chance to help more people. And as we help more people to fulfill their needs, we will achieve our dreams. So I'm really looking forward to a brighter future. And just to tell you, last month of July was such an exciting month for us because our bonus increased by a more than 2,000 Namibian dollars. And we even uh, earn another additional uh, incentive for consistency. So it's really exciting and we're looking forward to a brighter future. And we are so grateful to be part of this great family and part of this uh, pan, uh, day of great women on this call. Thank you so much, Nora. That is just such a wonderful, wonderful um, story. It's just everything, you just told everything in that story, everything that Neo Life does, it's there. And you know, the power of part-time, isn't it amazing that you could get your husband to where he needed to be because of your Neo Life part-time income? Guys, part-time, isn't that wonderful? But I can see you are motivated, you believe, you trust and um and you're running for everything you got your extra you got your bonus you got your little extra gift because you're so consistent i mean you deserve what you're getting that attitude is fantastic i'm sure you fear sometimes you were scared when you started probably like most people it's something new is that right oh sure i i really did not believe that I could do the business at all. In fact, when I got better uh, within that month, everyone who come to my office, I'll refer them to my elder sister. You know what, my elder sister have great products, please go there. It's after a long time when she has told me that, you know how many people you have referred to, uh, to me and here you saying you cannot do the business. I, that's how I, my eyes was open and then started the journey, which was very slow, because I even remember one of my young sisters saying that my business was in a drought position because I wasn't <laughs> moving because of not believing in myself. So it's, yes, it was a challenge at the beginning. Oh, oh that's such a lovely, it's so, I feel so uplifted and I'm sure everybody on the call does. You know, it's, it's, it, I'm so pleased to be discussing this because so many people expect immediate gratification when they join their life. But it's like a business that has to be built. The relationships have to be built. As you saw, your fear, the fear of the owner of the business, that you and me and all the other people have to get over themselves and what they're thinking people might think of them. And, uh, you know, we women are complex, complex, but it doesn't matter, we're strong. And look at you, a professional <laughs> IT lady and doing this and uplifting people with great direction in life. Well done. I'm just so grateful to have you on the call. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, that was fantastic. So now we're going to look at the next guest, which is very exciting. Uh, uh, she's just taken a step, well, not just this year, taken a step in the business. And I'd like to introduce you to Jan Ross. Jan, are you there? There's Jan. Yes, Nola, I'm here. Thanks very much. And Wonderful. Thanks, thanks for the, the privilege of being here with you. 
Oh, well, isn't it? It's, it's our privilege to have you on the call. And Jan, why don't you tell us your story and what you've got from the business? Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm Jan Ross. I'm a, a, a farmer's wife from the Bedford district in the Eastern Cape. I grew up in Grahamstown, Makanda. Uh, my parents were teachers and lecturers at, at the school and university in Grahamstown. I'm the eldest of four children. And in fact, my training is the, I'm the seventh generation school teacher. So I don't think I had much option. <laughs> it was just sort of kind of in the stars. Um, I'm married uh, to, to my farmer husband and we have two children. My son is a vet um, specializing in game and, and large, large farm animals. And my daughter did her honors in pediatric sports science. She's unfortunately not actually practicing that at the moment, but got some wonderful uh, work working with farm animals and doing photography. And they're both in the Eastern Cape, uh, which is just fantastic for us that, that, that our children have elected to stay nearby. Um, and in January, I'm going to be a granny. So I'm so excited. Um, I joined this business because I wanted to educate my children at the schools that I was privileged enough to be able to attend because my father taught at one of them and my mother lectured at the university. And that was my dream. And I think in this business, you have to have a dream. You really need to know why you want to take on something extra. When you've already got a full-time job or whatever it may be, you need to know why you want to take on something extra. And so it's really important to have that dream. My dream at the time was to help educate my kids. We live on a farm, we've got a wonderful lifestyle, but I did the farm, the, 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 all the, the books and accounts and I realized, hmm, this is possibly not going to be able to stretch to the schools that I'm, I'm dreaming of for my children. So I was looking for something. Fortunately, this business came along. Um, and it's, it's been an absolute blessing in our, in our lives for various reasons. I absolutely love this business. For I, I can probably count on my fingers a whole string of them, some of which have already been spoken about this evening. Finances, obviously, I needed more money so I could afford to send my children to a good school. That was, that was goal number one at the time. And then, obviously, the health. Um, I can't tell you that what, the people we've been able to help, the, the, even just within my own family, my husband's a diabetic. And even just one little product like Botanical Balance has made such a difference in his life. It's dropped his blood sugar right down to a very normal, normal level, just by taking a little bit of extra nutrition. Obviously, we all have these nutritional gaps that we need to fill. And I think that's what our supplements do. Um, my nutritional gap is, is the omegas. I don't like fish. I'm allergic to shellfish. I, I don't eat tuna and salmon and whatever weekly. So where am I going to get my Amigas? So I'm so grateful that we've got the best Omega-3 pro product in the world. And uh, my, my, one of my big passions is kind of helping the planet a bit. And to, be, to know that the cleaning products that we use are not contaminating anything more, but even more especially, not, not poisoning my children and myself in, in my home. Um, when I see what, what the, the ingredients are in some of those, some of the cleaning products that you find on the, on the supermarket shelves, I just about want to have 10,000 fits, that people are actually bringing those, those toxins into their homes, and they're not understanding why their child has eczema or asthma or whatever. And it's probably something as simple as the cleaning products they're bringing into their homes. So I'm very passionate about that, and I, and I love it that we can, we, we can really go out there and help people to clean up, clean up, detox their homes, because if they're detoxing their homes, the chances are pretty good that they're detoxing themselves. Another thing that I just love about this business is the residual income. Now, I've just had a little rough patch of the, recently with my dad having a fall and a very sick sister and whatever, so I haven't been able to put as much attention on my business as, as, I've, as I would like to. But the other people in my business are still building their businesses with or without me. And that has helped me to still have a decent sized business. And that's something that's very powerful. And I don't know that 
many people quite understand that with, with a, a, a good network marketing company, that the residual income is something that you can, you can uh, rely on as long as you are doing a fair amount of work yourself. I love the recognition one gets in this, in this company. Um, I know prize number one is to have a husband and a wife work this business together, 100%. No arguments from me. But in a selfish little way, I've actually rather enjoyed the fact that this is my business. And I've been recognized for little successes that I've had. And I'm not just Mrs. Ross. I'm not just my husband's wife. I'm, I'm Jan Ross. In this, in this business, I'm myself. And I must confess, I do actually get quite a sense of pleasure out of that. And the, the things that you're recognized for are for work that you've done. You're not going to be recognized for nonsense. So if you're not prepared to do the work, then you probably won't get the recognition. But just to be able to, like, earlier this year, I qualified to go to fan court with the rest of the world team and, and president's team members. Wow, what a privilege to be able to go down to this extraordinary beautiful place and get to know some of the world team and, and president's team, people that you kind of see on these kind of calls or on the stage at Bloom or whatever it is. And now you can actually get to speak to them one on one. And wow, there's some amazing people in this business. You'll be, you'll be so impressed when you actually get to meet these people face to face. And what's, what's special, another thing about this business that I just love is that it's your business, but you never buy yourself. I mean, look at, look at this evening. We've got these amazing people all wanting us to succeed. We, 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 we're spreading the word and we, we're trying to help each other, even if it doesn't affect our own businesses. I don't know there are many businesses out there who prepared to help the, you know, the opposition um, as much as, as this business does. And it's willable. You can leave this business to your child. You don't want to leave your job to your child, I'm pretty sure. But what a wonderful business to be able to leave your child, a child. Um, and I'm really excited about the future in this business. You can kind of write your own retirement plan, can't you? you th the more work you put in, the more you're going to earn. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, as Nola has said. But the more effort you put in, the bigger the, the income that you can make. We can give so many people hope out there. Look at, the, look at what's happened in the world with this COVID thing. How many people have lost their jobs, lost their health, taken a cut on, on their salary, whatever it is. And here we have a business with very, very little starting, starting um, investment. And they can build an international business from wherever they live. And that's something that really, really, really um, gives me a huge sense of, of purpose and a huge sense of responsibility because it's we've got a tool that can help people and we need to go out there and share it with as many people as possible so that they can also have the benefits that we've already we're already benefiting from and obviously the more time and effort you prepare to put it in put in the better but if there are times when things go a little bit haywire the whole business doesn't die you don't close the door COVID hasn't made us close the door. In fact, for many of us, our businesses have boomed during this time because we've got Zoom and we've got products that people really, really need. So for me, it's just I, I, my, my team and my uplines and things laugh at me when I say it's a no-brainer. It's this kind of business, well, this specific business, not the kind of business, this specific business for me is a no-brainer because we deal with products that everybody needs and uses anyway. And we deal with, with, um, with people all around the world who have got a dream or have got a need. There are people that need this business, but maybe you don't want it. But there are so many people who've got dreams that they're just burning. They've got this burning desire to better their lives and do things, do things differently to how they were brought up or whatever it may be. And we've got that. And it's our responsibility, not just our choice. It's actually our responsibility to go out there and share it with as many people as possible and just seed the, 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 just sow the seeds of hope to anybody who crosses our paths. 
So thanks so much, Nola. I'll stop. I'll stop nattering now. <laughs> thank you. Oh, what a story, Jan. Thank you so much. That just covered the business and every aspect of it. That is great and well done for becoming a SAPA director. And I know you're not going to stop there. Had your Thanks so much. Yeah, no, that's certainly not the intention. <laughs> right. So, you know, everyone on the call, you actually understand that Tony and Jan believe in themselves. You have to believe in yourself before anybody else will. No matter what, just believe in yourself. We can do it. Girls, you heard that and you know that. And I want to encourage you for that. And you know, you hear about the, 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 the financial side, you hear about the product side, but where others just see product, we see purpose. Where others talk about finances, we still see purpose because that's what we are, that's what we do. We are here to, to change the lives of people one person at a time. Not too slowly, but one at a time is good. And we see, we, we, we see families being empowered, uncovering their God-given talents. And I believe Jan and Tony had, has, have such talents that this business has continued to uncover. Um, uplifting, feeding, embracing communities with hope, with knowledge that will turn lives around for the better. And that's what we do. That's our purpose. And we get paid for doing that. We stay healthy for doing that. It's just, as you say, a no-brainer. You know, I want to just talk about um, a lady who some of you might have seen on the Simon um, Cowell show. Um, and she was called Nightbird, um, who's fighting cancer right now. But she said on social media, I will put my pain to purpose. I will show up and be as real as I can. I have a choice of becoming bitter or better. Everyone can, but very few do. So I leave you with that thought that you can, or you're going to. You know, I just want to say to the woman on the call, you are incredible, you're adorable, you're wonderful, you're powerful, you're perfectly beautiful, just the way you are. We can all be well woman, woman of worth. And that's what I want every woman to believe. She can be wom a woman of worth. And, you know, we'll bring this to a close now. I just say to all the distributors, thank you for being on the call. Tony and Jan, thank you. Thank you for your story. Um, and I want to thank all the guests that are on the call. And I'm going to ask you to get back to the person who invited you onto this call and talk to them and do something. Even if you're only interested in health, that's fine. But just get part of this whole movement of people, empowering people. You know, um, they say surround yourself with dreamers and doers and believers and the thinkers, but most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even if you don't necessarily see it in yourself yet. Remember, you are a wow woman, a woman of worth. And I want to close there and just say, God bless you all and have a great woman's month. Thanks, everyone.